Hello Ditch World! Today we have gathered here on this holy plane to celebrate life re-emerging as a primordial force in the form of deep sumos. These two are in A and this one is in G. For deep sumos we choose the best possible wood. This come from an ancient walnut which was like 200 years old. Immense tree and I'm so lucky to catch it. But I will have to tell you this story later because it's a big and powerful story. Um, it's very hard to drill them because you have to drill with deep diameter drills quite deeply into the wood and also is, there is a, a very um, strong chance of missing the hole in the first place, you know, the file hole. This one was really, really difficult to make because it's very long and it's very difficult to drill if, even if uh, wood was straight, but it has a beautiful, gorgeous burl here and they're very tricky to drill because they can guide your drill in a in the wrong direction and you have to be very patient and with a lot of perseverance you get it right and then you need to have a more and more of patience because these beautiful burls have a lot of cracks and we fill them with ebony and epoxy we use as much ebony dust as possible and we mix them together and this is a long process because you have to make sure that everything is closed properly and also the walnuts are impregnated to be as strong as possible and they got this beautiful uh, liquid glass varnish which takes um, a lot of spraying skills done by Danka and polishing skills to get to this level of um, magnifying glass into the grain of wood. Anyway, I want to tell you the story of wood separately because it's a big one. So you will see how we source our wood and how they come from these trees into ditches. But now I would focus more on the sound and playability of these beautiful beasts. So what I can tell you is if you go to the Sumo in D uh, video, everything that is true for a Sumo in D is pretty much true for the Sumo in A and G only more except for the back pressure because Sumo in A and G will have lower back pressure than the Sumo in D and they will be more difficult to control. I want to say it out loud. I, I don't want to trick you that, you know, this is a ditch that has everything of all of everything and so on. This isn't true for any ditch and it isn't true for this ditch. You will have to um, put some time and uh, focus with it. The good news is that this is a very seductive tool. You start playing it, the time just, you know, uh, ceases to exist. It even happens for me. Even when I was recording this, they just, I was like, I couldn't stop. You know, I would play things that I played on normal digits and they just sounded differently and so beautifully. They have very interesting harmonic structure and they have incredible way of how they create the bass, how they create the impact in the bass. And you can do things with them you can do on normal digits. Like for example, you can play wobble and you can uh, do an underkick with a tongue, you know, beneath that harmonic wobble. Anyway, um, to come back um, to the whole comparison, Sumo in A will have more of bass, of course, and a more physical feeling in the playing than Sumo in D. This doesn't make Sumo in D worthless. On the contrary, it offer, offers a lot for its compact shape, but Sumo in A is something which is truly mesmerizing. These are the waves just massage you to your DNA. It has incredible air code, like days of air code, and the toots are easier to play. So in some ways, Deep sumos are easier than high sumos. Um, for example, the toots are easier, but don't expect to be able to play more than five. You can squeeze out um, toots after fifth, but the impedance drops relatively uh, significantly and the toots don't have that fullness. But the toots beneath the sixth toot are well tuned and just uh, very um, harmonious. Uh, very full, very um, echoey, you know, that also transfers uh, to the air code. Um, when we're talking about Sumo in G, I would say even more is needed and it offers even more. So you will need more patience with it, but you will be seduced even more. I mean, this is like a 
tectonic chocolate, you know, you start playing it and it just encompasses your whole body. Uh, the tooth is in G because it's in octave. So it's uh, already like a didgeridoo. So it's, you feel more like you have a, a low didgeridoo and a high didgeridoo and then the tooths in terms of how their timber is. Um, but the bass here is just unreal. It's ridiculous how beautifully you can form this bass bomb. It just uh, shakes the universe, both inner and outer. Um, all in all, I would say if you need an inspiration to fall in love with didgeridoo playing and bring depth to your didgeridoo playing, the deep sumos might be the answer. Um, I will leave more um, of the data in the description, but all in all, let's go to the wonderland of the deep sumos and see how deep that dragon hole goes. <laughs> 